Now that we have a sizable group in our audience, why don't we jump in and get started? Good morning again. Thank you so much for joining us today for our International Students Webinar hosted by Chapel Hill Chauncey Hall. My name is Catherine Saunders. I'm Director of Enrollment Management here at CHCH, and I am joined by a wonderful panel of both students, alumni, and current staff that are super excited to connect with you and teach you how to learn more about CHCH. So today we have a wonderful agenda um, prepared for the presentation. Um, first, we're going to walk through the agenda, introduce ourselves and who we are, what we do here at Chapel Hill Chauncey Hall. We're then going to go over what makes Chapel Hill Chauncey Hall so unique. So an overview of who we are, some fast facts, our college in, um, matriculation list. Then we're going to talk about the boarding program. So boarding life and embracing Boston. Because we are so close to Boston, we really engage with Boston as our a boarding experience and especially for international students. Then we're going to talk about what types of international student supports we have here at Chapel Hill Chauncey Hall and the programs that we have. Then we're going to turn to you. So anyone who's in the audience who has questions, please do feel free to send them whenever throughout the presentation because we will be going to the Q&A feature to answer your questions live. So we'll have an opportunity for some panel questions and Q&A and then we will close things out and talk to you about next steps, but we're super excited to have you. So before we um, dig into the presentation, I would love for our panelists to introduce themselves. So I will turn it over to my wonderful panelist, um, Shannon Fortin. Hi everyone, my name is Shannon Fortin. I'm the Associate Director of Admission and Director of Financial Aid at Chapel Hill, Chauncey Hall. It's so nice to talk to you all this morning, or like Catherine said, this afternoon or tonight, wherever you're coming from. Um, and I look forward to talking with you a little bit later. Welcome. Great, Po Chun. Hi everybody, my name is Po Chun Wang. I'm the Director of International Student Life um, at CHCH. Uh, very nice to meet everybody. Great. Vivian? Hello, everyone. So, so excited to be here. My name is Vivian, and um, I'm actually an international student myself, and I luckily graduated from Chapel Hill, Changsi Hall um, back in 2018. Um, so I was born in Shanghai, and I came here for high school, and I later went to Northeastern University, and I'm currently working right now in Boston. Thank you. Great. Mary Grace? Hey everyone, I'm Mary Grace. I come from Kampala, Uganda. And right now I'm a senior and I'm graduating this year. So this is my last and final year here at CHCH. Um, what I do here is that I am play sports like today, this trimester I'm in the girls varsity volleyball team. And I do clubs like MUN, which is Modern United Nations, Calvary, and SOCA, which is Students of Color Alliance. Great, thank you so much. And last but not least, Uyen. Um, hi everyone, my name is Uyen and I come from Vietnam. And this is my third year in Chapel Hill Chauncey Hall. And I am so happy to joining this meeting with all of you guys today. Great. Thank you so much. And our wonderful students and alumni uh, panelists will be able to answer all of your wonderful questions about student life here as international students. So again, please do feel free to send those questions in and we will get to them a little bit later on in the presentation. But thank you all wonderful panelists for joining us today. So in terms of who we are, Chapel Hill Chauncey Hall is a private college preparatory day and boarding school located just 10 miles outside of Boston, Massachusetts in Waltham. Uh, we pride ourselves on providing a diverse and inclusive educational environment that challenges our students academically, personally, and socially. We like to think of ourselves um, as a small school. We have about two, 200 students in totality. So between grades seven through 12, we have a middle school and an upper school, so 200 students total. Our average class size is 10 students, and about 40% of our students are boarding. We are so fortunate enough to have a robust international population with over 11 countries represented on our campus today, so it's very exciting. We are a school that offers rigor and challenge with over 17 different advanced placement, advanced and um, 
upper level courses. We also have a really great athletic program with over 17 league championships from the past five years. We, as we mentioned before, over just 10 miles from Boston. So we really love to embrace that we are neighbors with one of the best cities in the country and world. And finally, we like to pride ourselves in being a college preparatory school with over 100% college acceptance rate. So what makes CHCH unique? As I mentioned before in our fast facts, you know, we are a small school. We really pride ourselves on providing an opportunity for every single student on this campus to be heard. So in terms of thinking about our students, we always like to use some terminology like BU, where each student is recognized as an individual and is embraced by a community of peers who respect them just as they are. We want students to unlock their potential here. Our teachers are experts at developing, developing an innovative cur curriculum um, that is both challenging and personally meaningful and fulfilling. We want students to express themselves. Again, being that small school, we have the ability to be seen and every student feels comfortable being themselves. Our students are known, they feel comfortable taking intellectual risks and are empowered to express themselves however they want to at that time. They create their story. They're able to really shape their both educative and personal experience to fit who they are at that time and really feel embraced by that community. And finally, with all of those skills that they learned both academically through that challenging curriculum, that support because of the 10 students or less and that advisory aspect, they're able to take charge and really forge a path of success past the four years of high school into their collegiate experience and really become that strong intellectual person. Um, and as I mentioned earlier, we have 11 countries represented. Right now on campus today, we have students from China, Egypt, Lithuania, Jamaica, Poland, Russia, South Korea, Spain, Turkey, Uganda, and Vietnam on our campus. So we are so excited to have such a robust group of international students bringing their experiences, their perspectives, and their voices to our campus and feeling really embraced. Finally, I mentioned that we are a college preparatory school and we truly mean that with 100% college acceptance rate. We have a very robust list of college matriculations. We are very excited to have students who have a myriad of interests, both academically and interpersonally. And our director of college counseling, Brooke Fink, works with our students starting in the 11th grade to ensure that they have a really good understanding of where they want to be for the next four years. So our college counseling program is dedicated one-on-one -on -one experience that allows students to really find their right fit and their next home. And as you can see, we have a really great list of uh, colleges that um, our students are accepted to and matriculate to that are really able to fit the needs of that individual student. Now I'm happy to pass it over to my colleague, Shannon. Thank you. So, so we just wanted to talk a little bit more about boarding life. Um, at Chapel Hill, because as international students, that is something that is going to be a big part of your experience living here on campus. So we we have three dorms at school. We have two girls dorms and one boys dorms, uh, one boys dorm. Um, the dorms are staffed by Chapel Hill faculty who live in apartments connected to the dorm with their families. So these teachers take really great care of our students and provide a warm family environment for the students while they're here at Chapel Hill. Um, I'm sure that our, our students that are joining us today on the panel can answer some questions about their personal experiences living in the dorm um, a little bit later um, because they have the, the best um, experience with it as, as two of them are living in the dorms right now. Um, so along with everything that comes with living away from home, um, getting the chance to know your classmates, learning how to live with other people, um, living in the dorm allows our students the chance to really develop some important life skills, independence and confidence as they get ready to go to college or university after Chapel Hill. Um, during the weekday, students have a more structured schedule with study hall and an earlier check-in time. Um, but on the weekend, um, 
the school plans a lot of activities, both on and off campus. So we have a director of campus life and we have a lot of faculty who help to plan weekend activities and events for our students. And we also involve our students in the planning of, of those events too. Um, our campus is located within walking distance to stores, coffee shops, restaurants, but we're also really very close to Boston and we feel very lucky to be within 10 miles of, of a major city on the East coast of the US. Um, I don't know if we wanna show the map next, Catherine. Yeah, so just to give you an idea of where Chapel Hill is located, we are very close to uh, downtown Boston, just a few minutes outside of downtown Boston. So our weekend activities are a real uh, opportunity for our students to take advantage of everything that Boston has to offer. Um, our students have the chance to explore museums, theater, cultural events, professional sports games. Um, the city has a wealth of opportunity for our students and Chapel Hill takes seriously the, the chance to expose our students to everything that a city like this has to offer, all while being in a campus that is a little bit outside of, of, a, of the downtown part of the city, which is a quiet corner of a suburban town, but still with access to everything that, that a city like Boston can offer to young people. Awesome. Thank you so much, Shannon. Po Chung. Hi, everybody. So once again, my name is Po Chung Wang, and I'm the International uh, Student Program Director. So there is a couple of things that I help to support international students. First of, first and all, that I um, am the point person for anything that come along with international students. And I provide support. And I listen to them and I'm be there for them. So that's pretty much the main um, role for me. And there's a little bit other stuff that I, um, I provide. I um, teach a class called the English Language Learner. Uh, this provide another layer of academic support for the international student who maybe needs it. So um, with a student who maybe needs another layer of English learning before um, English learning before other really rigorous classes and this class helped them to um, prepare for them and then um, this class also prepared them to get familiar with the learning process in the U.S. In addition um, for CHCH one, one thing that's very beautiful here is we support our students as a community so although I'm the director of the National Student Program, but however, everyone here are working together to um, help our international students be acquainted, teacher as well. So um, we have weekly advisory, which teacher actually see small amount of students and really get to know them and support them academically, making sure that they are um, following the classes and making sure they are physically and mentally well-being are being cared for as well. And in addition to that, um, I run a weekly international student meeting um, just to check in, just run it as a support group. Let us share our experience here and each other's um, happy, sad, every part of our life. And also in school here, we have quite a bit of affinity group that international students free to join. If they feel like they belong to a certain group, they, are, they um, can choose where they want it to be. And in addition to that, we also have frequent grade level meeting and the grade level dean really invest in every single student. So this provide our international student opportunity to really get to know their classmate, fellow classmate in the grade level. And then uh, we also have daily office hour, which is provide wonderful help for our international student. Student can go to their teacher to confirm their uh, class assignment questions, or if they need additional support of class material, they can use this opportunity daily to, to seek for help. And um, the parent will also receive nearly weekly uh, progress note. 
So there's frequent contact from the school and the teacher to the parents and guardian. And our college counseling program is very rigorous, um, as we mentioned earlier. So we prepare our students starting from junior and really get them ready in the senior time. Um, earlier, Ms. Fortin mentioned that our teachers are dorm parents. So I often see um, students, our, especially our international students, taking the opportunity to doing the study hall time every night um, to find their teacher, the dorm parent, when they change roles in the evening, and then receive extra help there. And teachers are more than happy to help. If you get to know our teacher, they are just the most loving people. Um, and then um, we have very um, active weekend program really is, and that gives our international student additional time, which is above all the opportunity we just mentioned earlier to get to know their fellow friends, classmate, and everybody in the school. Thank you so much, Po Chan. That was a wonderful overview of all of the wonderful work you do with our international students. So now we're at our panel time. So you're going to be able to hear from our students and alumni and speakers. But again, feel free to add questions into the Q&A box. We're happy to answer them. We have a couple questions here already that we're happy to dive into. Um, so for the panel, um, how can international students and parents connect while they're at school being so far away from home. So I don't know if any of the students want to share or alumni want to share how you were able to kind of stay in touch or what did the school do to help you um, stay in touch with your family? So yeah, like time zones and everything were really challenging since my friends are like eight hours or seven hours, really depending on the seasons ahead of me. So usually what I did was like during study hall or sometimes during morning breaks, I would be in the lounge because every dorm has a lounge and I would ask the teacher if I could be in there because there are some times when some students are sleeping and I feel like, oh, I would love to talk to my friends right now. And the teachers will let me do that. They'll let me have this own space for myself and I'll be able to call my parents, talk to them for a few hours because also I have to go back to bed because of the time differences and everything. But that those few hours are enough for me because I feel like I'll be able to catch up and just be able to just have a normal conversation with my family even if we're so far away. And yeah, I feel like that really helped me here, just having that space and time to be able to talk to my parents. Um, for me, um, as I see, um, every week all the teacher will write a detailed progress report for parent to like read it, and this way parents are able to keep track on how they are like their child doing, and also par parent also get information about what students are doing over the weekend, uh, we call it weekend activity, and um, yeah. Okay. Thank you. And on top of that, um, I believe that CHCH actually send out frequent newsletters to both students um, and parents. And in addition to that, there are a lot of schools activities and uh, some faculty members on campus will actually help take pictures for the students and they will put the all the pictures in an album. Um, and you can access both parents and students can access the um, album. So um, on top of what um, the other panelists were saying, there are actually ways for parents to see how the students are doing on campus through the pictures and through the newsletters. And because it's a small campus, so you can definitely see a lot of engagement um, from your um from the parent side it's always good to see your um like the kids are doing well in school so that's just a point i want to mention um and also at the beginning of the school year um school do have a few events um invite all the new parent and family come to school and registration days and move door moving day parents are also welcomed and this would be a wonderful opportunity for parents to meet other parents. And I do know there is a few parent um, group 
right now among international students, a lot of parents from the same nation will group themselves and keep each other in, in a little community as well. And I'm a part of a few group there and uh, to help parents to feel like they're connected with the school. In addition to everybody else already mentioned so much of the opportunity, yes. Great. Awesome. Thank you. So I know we've mentioned a lot throughout this presentation of how close we are to Boston. So for our students and alumni, why do you think being so close, what, what, are, what are the benefits of being so close to Boston in your experience here at CHH, whether it was now or back when you were a student? Uh, I guess, I guess. Sorry. sorry. Oh. Go ahead, go ahead. Um, from our school to Boston, it takes around 20 minutes to drive. And I think it's not too far or not too close for me because in my opinion, I like the location because like you can still have a beautiful property campus and but also can experience a CD life. Yeah. On top of that, um, when I was a junior, at Chapel Hill. I did volleyball in the fall and my coach back then actually took us to a Boston College volleyball game. So there are a lot of opportunities to actually let's um, go to visit the universities in Boston or attend um, certain university related events, which is great. And because as we mentioned before, there are so many universities in Boston. And if students are really interested in going to the schools, they can definitely plan some uh, visits during uh, when they are juniors and seniors. And on top of that, Boston is a very, very safe city. So I think it's great that it is so close to um, Chapel Hill or so close to Waltham. So a lot of times students um, and parents can feel safe about um, we being in the city for a while during the weekend. Yeah, and I feel like just having Boston so close to us is really, really like helpful and like stress free because like sometimes being on campus all the time is just like you see the same things every day and you're like, I want to see something different. So just having Boston like 10 or 20 minutes away gives you a chance to explore so many other things, especially as an international student. I have a bucket list of things I want to do and I've done almost all of them now. I just still have a few things to do. So just be, having Boston so close to me means I can just go there, experience new things, see new things, learn about new things and just come back to school being happy and be like, wow, I saw something different today. And then I come back to school and I can tell everybody what I saw. And it's, it's just a fun experience. Awesome. Yeah, I think we really embrace that backyard city of Boston in, in everything that we do here at Chapel Hill. So thinking a little bit more about all of the amazing opportunities that y'all just mentioned, you know, that you're able to explore the city, that you're able to do all of these co-curriculars. So how does Chapel Hill support, especially international students, being able to balance it all? So balancing your college preparatory curriculum with your co-curriculars, with your opportunities to go out on the weekends, what support systems are in place at Chapel Hill that really allow you to take advantage of all things while still maintaining, you know, being on top of your studies? Uh, like as a somebody who plays sports and everything, sometimes we'd go to other schools and like come back to school and they'll be like, we come late and everything. So like here in Harrington, like from what I've experienced, the dorm parents would usually let us come here, take a shower, take a break, get a breather because you just came back from a long trip, just came back from a tiring match and you just they just give you that opportunity to finally relax and gather yourself before you actually go into study hall. And study hall does really help you catch up on your homework and everything. It's like about an hour and 45 minutes. So in that hour and 45 minutes, you're able to just do everything. You're like, okay, I'm done with this. And then you have a whole lot of free time after before you go to bed. So just having that structure and support system really helps with people who do sports or who have other clubs that like transport them off campus and then they come late. And when you do come late, the school does supply you dinner, like, because we have dinner, dining hours and everything, but sometimes you might come late, but then they'll leave for you some dinner so that you can always eat. And I like that because, like, because obviously after a sports game, you're tired, you need something to eat. So having all these small things 
helped us really keeps helps me be in balance when it comes to my college applications, my homework, and just keeping up with my sports activity. Yeah, that system really helps me. Thank you so much, Mary Grace. That was so well done. So I know that all of you are coming from different areas of the world, different academic backgrounds. So what was your transition like from your previous school to Chapel Hill and what kind of support was there for you when, when you got to campus? Um, yeah, to be honest with you guy, when I just came to the school, I was feeling very nervous because everything was just so new for me and so different from Vietnam. But for the boarding life, the dorm parent who live in campus in Chapel Hill, Charles Hill, they really took care of me and make sure that I was doing well. And the people living in the dorm, I would say they're very friendly and they like gave me a tour and they spoke to me a lot of what they had experienced in Chapel Hill, Chelsea Hall. And yeah, beside that to talk about school academic, um, there are a lot of international students currently studying here. So like the teacher, they are really sympathetic and understanding. So you don't have to be worried if you don't understand because they will try to help you support you as much as possible, yeah. And yeah, when it came to transitioning, like obviously it was a time difference. So like I had a lot of jet lag and I came in like during the COVID times, so I was on Zoom, like my first year here, I was on Zoom, like almost the whole of it. And then I came for like the last trimester. And honestly, I was really, really, really scared because I'm like, okay, there's some people already on campus, some day students there, and I haven't really met them. I haven't been able to talk to them because I've been on Zoom this whole time. So I was really nervous about that. But then there were other boarding students who were in my position. They were like I they weren't really international like me, but they really did understand that I came from a whole different place and they helped me just get transitioned slowly, slowly into the American system, how it works here. They taught me everything. And I feel like people in the dorm are really a big part of the community because they really help you get used to everything, the new surroundings and everything. So like, yeah, just your dorm roommates and everything, they really do help you get used to that transition. Dorm parents help too. And they try to make the whole community of boarders come together, whether you're international or you're a resident here in the US, so that it doesn't, you don't really have to always be with international students just because you're international. You can be friends with other people who come from other different places. And that just makes everything so much easier because you're learning something new from somebody else's perspective. And also you're getting, you're letting other people know about your community, your culture, your tradition, and learning about a new one as well. So I feel like, yeah, students in the dorms really help you transition. Yes, I think these are all very great um, examples. And I just want to stress that, like, I've never met a group of teachers or dorm parents as supportive and as understanding as faculty group at Chapel Hill. I really appreciate it. Um, all the times they are willing to, like, check on me when I was back at school. And especially the first few days when I arrived, I was super nervous and it was my first time in the US. They were willing to check in with me and they were inviting me to their um, dorm parents like rooms and saying, do you wanna bake something together? And just casually introducing me to all the places in Boston um, that um, I potentially wanted to go visit. So I just wanna stress that um, Chapel Hill, um, Chelsea Hall faculty members are really amazing. Wow. Thank you so much. Sounds like you had all of the support to make sure that you were able to acclimate, get used to the Eastern Standard Time Zone and be able to succeed here. So thank you so much for sharing those wonderful anecdotes. So a question for Vivian, just thinking about, you know, the future, because you've graduated from Chapel Hill, you went on to college. So how do you think Chapel Hill really prepared you to be successful in an American college? I think yeah, thank you so much. So I think Chapel Hill first um, taught me how it is very important to keep good relationships with everyone. So when I was at Chapel Hill, because it was, oh, it was a small, I would say relatively small community, 
I really got to keep in touch with a lot of the dorm parents, a lot of my uh, friends from the same class. And um, throughout all those um, years of, I would say, relationships with them, I got to know more about the American culture. I got to know more about how to, um, throughout especially junior years and senior years, I learned how to um, network. I learned how to research um, on colleges and how certain a lot of dorm parents and uh, um, a lot of teachers here also gave me advices on college. So I would say um, that helped me really um, learn what I want to pursue or what I want to potentially do where I want to be in college. And I went to Northeastern University, which is just right in Boston. So I would say Chapel Hill really helped me um, make that decision very clearly back in high school. And um, on top of that, I just want to mention that after five years of graduating, I'm still keeping contact with a lot of the faculty members here because they are really, um, they still, they have been caring for me in the past few years. And I really appreciate that kind of connection. And CHCH, CHCH definitely helped me to understand the importance of uh, relationship building, the importance of being kind to everyone. So. Yeah, that's my personal experience. Wow, thank you so much. So I know we've gone through a lot of questions and I don't wanna keep asking, but we have one more set of questions for our wonderful panelists um, and it's kind of a double header. So if you don't mind sharing why you chose to come to CHCH and if you could provide any advice to international students thinking about applying or thinking about coming to a school like CHCH. Uh, when it came to applying for me, I was obviously applying from Uganda and COVID did not really give me a chance to come here to see the schools in person. So it was more like a Zoom thing where I had to see the campus on Zoom. I had to talk to people on Zoom. And yeah, when I did interviews for other schools, and like it would mostly be with the teacher in charge like of admissions and everything. And then they would just ask me questions, not really letting, giving me a chance to ask them. But when I did an interview with CHCH, there was a student who actually was an alumni here who actually emailed me consistently telling me things about CHCH. She said, if you have any questions, just ask me. Sometimes I would have Zoom calls with her and I just became, I got to know her as a person. That's why it became easier for me to transition here to CHCH because I had a buddy and a friend already who knew me and I knew her, so I felt comfortable. And she, even though she was a senior and she graduated before me, she helped me make other friends into the school. So just really getting to know another student from CHCH, not only having to be interviewed by admissions teacher and everything, really helped me know like, this is the school I want to be in, like a school where the community is so kind and opening and they're just accepting of who you are and where you come from, instead of just interviewing you, asking you questions, just to test you if you're like, oh, are you right for this school or something like that. So like just having that acceptance was really what made me choose CHCH. Um, yeah, I choose CSCH because I want to come to the United States and I love to be independent and experience living in a new culture. And in CSCH, I am able to grow up and take on more independence because I'm living far away from my parents. I am living for my own life. And I know it's hard for some students, but in CSCH, you will be able to feel like you're a second home. Yes, so previously when I chose CHCH, um, mainly because I can tell it is a very supportive community, um, the location is great, it's close to Boston, and uh, my aunt actually um, lived locally, helped me choose the school back then. And on top of that, just some, I mean, in terms of suggestions, I just wanna say to all the, like the parents and the students who are interested, um, definitely trying to, take advantage of the idea that if you live on campus and surrounded by all the great teachers, the great diverse group of students, 
always ask questions and always be attentive to different opinions. And because sometimes a lot of ideas, a lot of creative things can um, be discussed through your peers and through your teachers. So a lot of time, maybe if you have certain ideas towards college or towards different cultural perspective, they are super willing to help you. So I just want to say, if you come to CHCH, always grab the opportunities of um, just um, sh share your voice and also um, ask around for different opinions. Amazing. And Pochan, do you have any advice to prospective students about the process? Um, like everybody else already suggested, um, contact us, reach out, ask questions and um, fill us out almost, you know, and then I think you will find us to be a very welcoming and very supportive community. Yeah. Thank you so very much. I just wanna take this opportunity to thank our wonderful panelists, students, alumni, staff. Thank you so much for sharing such informative information about what makes CHCH so unique and so welcoming to international students and how international students not only succeed, but flourish here in our wonderfully accepting community. Um, so that concludes our presentation. Thank you so much to our attendees for joining, tuning in, and learning more about CHCH. Uh, we left both Pochan and my contact information here in case you want to take it down. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. We're happy to answer those questions and if you want to learn more about um, what makes us so special. But thank you all again, panelists. Such a fantastic, wonderful job explaining who we are. Um, and thank you, audience, for, for joining us either this morning, this afternoon, or this evening, depending on where you are. We hope you have a great rest of your day, and hopefully you get to enjoy all of the wonderful things that we provide here at CHCH through our website or other virtual or in-person opportunities. But thank you so much for tuning in. We really appreciate your time. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, guys.